everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to all joining me for a Peaky Blinder of a coin review because as you can plainly see, we are going to be reviewing the Peaky Blinders 2 ounce silver coin from PIK Coins who are today's video sponsor. I met them out in Berlin at the World Money Fair, fantastic people and an awesome organization that are producing some exceptionally cool products at the moment. And one of those is this Thomas Shelby Peaky Blinders coin. So they have gifted me this to showcase here on my channel. A big thank you to them for sponsoring. It's not in return for a quid pro quo, great review, you have to go buy it, it's the best thing in the world. This is a premium product. It's a premium bullion product with antiquing high relief gold gilding. We're gonna have a good close look at it. It's not cheap bullion, but there is a very big collectible market for these types of products and we're here to give you a good old overview. And if you like it, then you can go and buy it from PIK Coins' website. Now, there is also a 10, no, 20 euro, beg your pardon, discount code for you to use if you want to go and buy it. That is code BACKYARD. So go and use that if you want. That is not an affiliate bonus code. I don't get paid if you use it. I have got this coin that's been gifted to me. That's everything I would need, and I get to make some awesome content. But if you want to get it, do use that code as it will give you 20 euros off. All of the links and everything you need to know are down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's dive in and have a good close look at this very, very cool coin. So the first thing that will strike me is that it's an exceptionally good likeness of Cillian Murphy, who is, of course, like the man with the Midas touch right now. Everything he's touching turns to gold when it comes to cinema and movies and TV shows. He is nominated for an Oscar, of course, and The Peaky Blinders is one of the best TV shows I've seen in a very long time. So to have a commemorative coin brought out for that, I think it's for the 10 year anniversary of the show, is a really cool thing. I have always said with these types of coins, the premium market for these types of coins is undeniably a good one. It needs to be really quite well made though. It needs to be very well made. It needs to be of a theme which is interesting to people or it needs to be something that people will want to get. And if you are a fan of the show and you like this kind of product, uh, then maybe this is the kind of product for you to have and enjoy. And it's well made and it's got that really good theme to it. So I think it's going to be a pretty big success for PIK coins. So let's have a good review of the entire package. As I said, we have got um, a, well, I haven't said it yet, but we have got a box and we've got a cardboard sleeve with the Peaky Blinders on it. I like the uh, effect of the chains and everything coming down from there. That's pretty cool. Officially licensed product by uh, the uh, by Banjay Group, which is uh, who owns, I think, the Peaky Blinders trademark, which is fantastic. We have a wooden box. Now, I have to say, the only sort of bit of criticism or slight criticism I would say is the box feels quite light. For, and you could do with a felt bottom. Everyone likes a felt bottom, don't they? Um, it could the box could feel a bit better. That's my own little bit of feedback. The internal um, sort of polystyrene foam looks a little bit less than perfect in terms of like aesthetics. I think if it could have been a nice velvet finish, that would have been better. It's got that kind of polystyrene feel to it. Now that's a box. Not a lot of people will worry too much about a box, but when you're paying a large premium for product, it's something to bear in mind. So maybe a bit of feedback for PIK coins. Um, then we've got the Certificate of Authenticity here, which is very, very nicely made. Very good to see the nice colour on it. We've got all the specifics of the coin. So it's a $5, 2 ounce silver, 999, 45mm, antique finish, black proof, micro laser engraving, 24 karat gold gilded, and it's got individual serial numbers. And each coin has the serial number embossed on the rim as well. We'll have a good close look at that when we have the capsule off. Now, capsule-wise, this is a great capsule. Notice I've sort of partially opened it because I tried to film a video, well, this video once, and then got to the point where I was gonna open it, and it was almost impossible to open. So, really well-made capsule that is not coming open anytime soon on its own, which is great. Uh, it's a nice deep capsule, so you can really get to see the coin's details and high relief on there. So, uh, I am gonna now try and get the capsule lid fully off, and then we can have a good close look at the coin itself out of the capsule, because a lot of the time when you have a look at these types of coins out of a capsule, they just start to sing alive. And here it is that, in my opinion, is infinitely better without a capsule. Now, I'm not gonna take it out of the full capsule and handle it with bare hands. That's not something I would recommend for anybody, um, but we can at least see what it fully looks like. The first thing that strikes me is the matte black finish in the background. 
it's really well done with the micro laser etched engravings of these chains if you can see with the PB, the Peaky Blinders there and the 10 year crest as well I think in there too. Really, really intricate levels of details and that's somewhat lost a little bit with the uh, with the capsule on. You can still see them but it certainly is better without. So that's really, really good. Now gold gilding, let's have a look at gold gilding. I've certainly seen some poor gold gilding in my time on various different coins but this looks really, really Tasty and tidy. Tasty, I think that's the wrong word I was going for. Tidy is what I was trying to say first. But it does look tasty too. Very, very well done. Um, no bleeding over onto the rest of the coin. Lettering at the top is also um, is also very well done. No sort of bleed over there. Really nice quality, and that's what you want to see. The likeness of Cillian Murphy himself is really very well done indeed. I like the pose that he's in. It's a very quintessential gangster style. It just strikes everything about the Peaky Blinders and I really like it, I think that's fantastic. So let's flip it over now to the other side and we can see what's going on there. I perhaps would have liked to have seen something like some gold gilding, slightly gold gilding on the crest of the 10 there, just to elevate the coin to a new level. That said, I'm trying to find any small bits of feedback I can for PIK. Um, you know, I'm here to give an open, honest, fair review of these products. I've seen a lot of these high relief Gold Gilder products. This is a really good one in that category, but you've got to sometimes elevate yourself well above and beyond what all of these other companies and coins are doing. Um, that said, this looks great still. I love the wavy pattern in the background of the sky there, the 3D effect of the, uh, of the street and people there, really great. Um, got nothing to say about it other than that it's really interesting and a really good coin very well made it's got some really great high relief details i don't know if the camera's really showing it um but the sort of the peaky blinders wording there on thomas shelby himself is like sticking out from the coin it's almost like he's in well he is in the forefront of the, the image and he's almost in front of physically these other characters in there which is great so very very well done indeed um I have to say, I'm very impressed with this product. I think it is a really nice one. Ah, we were gonna talk a little bit about the serial number on the bottom. So if I can just get that to show you. So there we go, 325 of 1000. Mintage of 1000 on these um, is you know, pretty standard for these types of products with the two ounce gold gilded range. Uh, I think that's a really nice limited edition. I think if it's lower, if it's around the 500 mark, you could argue that it might be a little bit more exclusive, but at the same time, when a mintage is too low, you often don't really get any buzz about them from um, the world because nobody sells them and nobody shows them. And if you've got a thousand or more out there, they will uh, sometimes be sold and you'll get those representative sale points for where those products might be as an investment. Now, as a price point, this is priced at 252 euros. If you are buying it, having watched this video, don't forget to use the code BACKYARD, which will get you 20 euros off. So a good sort of 8% discount there. Um, it's an expensive product. You know, there's no hiding away from that. It's not gonna be for everybody. It's not an investment in silver. It's an investment in the art piece. It's an investment in the collectible market that's to do with Peaky Blinders. There's a big following for that market. Um, don't rely on it making you tons and tons of money, but as a product that you can enjoy and really get to grips with, I think it's fantastic and a great offering from PIK Coins. So if you're interested, as I said, there are links down in the description box below to PIK Coins' website, uh, where you can find this product and many others that they have got. And then, as I said, there is the code BACKYARD, which will get you uh, 20 euros off. So definitely worth checking out and having a look. And if anybody has bought it from this video, let me know, it'd be really interesting to find out. Uh, as I said, I don't get any kickback from that code. My fee was to get gifted this coin, which is very, very generous of PIK coins. Now we have got another coin from PIK to showcase. That will probably be out next week at some point, which is the Pablo Escobar coin. It does look really good, I have to say. So stay tuned for that. And if you are not subscribed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, hit the thumbs up if you have enjoyed our little coin review and let me know your thoughts on this product and on this coin. Otherwise, that is it from me. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.